This is the Carpet Stacker with the second in the series of Chris Handy's Paco Games TKO. TKO is a boxing game for two players that plays in 30 minutes and has a casual complexity rating. In this game, each player becomes one of eight cleverly named boxers. The object in TKO is to knock out your opponent twice by scoring five points in one of your point bars. In play, you are choosing one of the four moves which is revealed simultaneously. You get one point for each correctly played move you make on an opponent. For example, a boxer can earn a point by playing an uppercut against a body block. Points can also be earned defending against any corresponding blow. Each boxer receives one point if either plays an uppercut or a body blow. If the actions are the same, then neither boxer gets points. Depending on the boxer, he will have a point advantage in one of the four areas. TKO is played in 2-3 rounds with the winner earning the title as champion and the TKO champion belt. For an intermediate challenge, play with the power arrow card. If you manage to earn another point, he may allocate the point to any point bar. Any moves which results in a tie or if the boxer earns a point moves the arrows back to the neutral position. And that's TKO. TKO is a simple game but I'm not too fond of it. As a two player game, I have many other choices I would rather play especially more complex games. But though mind reading your opponents in this game is what I like. With each boxer having a different advantage helps a bit on what moves you want to go for, but having 8 different boxers doesn't really do anything for me. It seems the boxers may have an advantage in those areas, but at the end it doesn't matter. This is because once an opponent knows what you're going for, they will pick the moves to counter it. As for the arrow card, while it adds an extra mechanic to the game, I feel the theme is pushed to the side a bit. What I mean here is that though the advantages give the boxers a sense of what they're good at, the thing about the allocation and putting points somewhere else gets lost in the theme for me. Even with the negative things I've said, I do like TKO just for its simplicity. Check out other reviews in the Paco Game series, subscribe, comment, and follow us on Twitter. This is the Garbage Stacker, and are you ready to rumble?